you can do that um, if you don't want to it's all right okay uh, I will basically start putting out the slide Can you see my slide, guys? Because I can you see my slide, guys? Because I don't think I see it. No. Hold on, hold on. Something is not. Something is not very right. Oh yeah. Can you see my slide? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for corresponding. Okay. Uh, supposedly we have here with us today uh, is uh, students who registered uh, Lab One. All right. S E M M with the code S E M M two nine two one. Okay. And uh, students who registered uh, Lab Three. Okay, SEMM uh, 3941 as well as SEMV 3941. All right. So basically, the, the, this briefing tonight is uh, basically for, for students who uh, registered those uh, uh, subjects. All right. Those, those, those course. All right. So if you are, if you, uh, are not registering this 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 two uh, course. Uh, you should not be uh, here. I think. Okay. Um, ah, I get I get to see a lot of messages in the chat. All right. Thank you for corresponding, guys. Okay. Um, as you can see from from the slide, this is this is. Um, lab course uh, briefing all right um, so my name is basically uh, dr kamaro you can call me dr kamaro of course i'm the laboratory manager of the school for the uh, skm uh, that's my email and my contact number down there if you have anything to to uh, basically uh, ask about you can uh, email me or you can text me through whatsapp or telegram uh basically i am in the telegram group that, that you all uh join all right so far okay we have two telegram group one telegram group for uh, lab one and uh, one telegram group for uh lab three all right so the link uh i uh, basically I, I have shared the link with uh, some of you and maybe most of you hopefully um I haven't yet see the correct number of students coming in. I still hope that you can uh, uh, spread around, you know, uh, the links among your classmates and, and, and all that so that everybody else basically can join this uh, lab thing. All right. So I am looking at currently new 400 uh, students. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the amount of students registered for these two courses is uh, 700 uh, plus, I think. So we have uh, basically um, 60, uh, approximately 60% to 70% of students. All right. You can, you can hear me clearly, uh, correct, guys? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nazmi. Thank you, Amirul Hakim. Thank you. All right. So, um, all right. So basically, um, this this is uh, online lab. Uh, I know uh, some of you are you know who register the lab one. You are very new here, and uh, those who register lab lab three, uh, you have experienced lab lab two before, and and, and also I think uh, lab one uh, online. All right. So the briefing tonight will be more or less uh, you know going to tell about the same thing of, of how the, the online lab is basically executed it's quite similar to what we have uh, to what you have uh, you may have seen previously in the previous semester but for lab one uh, for students who register lab one this is uh, very new okay i hope you guys can basically um, you know i hope you guys did join this uh, briefing 
And uh, if not, I think uh, we will have this uh, briefing uh, recorded and shared into the uh, Telegram group so that your friends who basically couldn't fail, uh, couldn't couldn't attend this uh, session uh, could have the chance to to basically review this this um, this content. All right. So this is this is the uh, basically. Um, one two three four five the fifth semester we we run this lab online so uh from 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 the first uh mco i think uh we made several changes uh, several improvement to make sure that everybody is uh, comfortable with the way we run i understand that this online lab will basically uh you know based on a video and all that you don't have to uh you you can't be doing the experiment in the lab so you don't get to touch the equipment you don't you don't get to experience the, the the physical element of the experiments and all that so that's the missing part of this whole online lab but um uh whether we like it or not basically we have to continue because we don't want to disturb uh you know the program and and you know students who basically need to graduate they need to graduate all right um basically uh i have conducted uh some surveys you know uh in the previous previous semesters in, including the last semester i have read uh, all the comments for improvement uh um most of the comments basically asking for the lab to be face to face um unfortunately for this current for this coming semester the lab will be still uh, online there are possibilities that the lab uh, are uh, going to be face to face after the mid sem break, but I think is is uh, is it is 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 not possible to 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 get uh, the lab to be running face to face even after the mid semester. So, as for now, the lab will be running uh, fully online to the end of the semester. All right. So so I have the. Uh, information with me as you can see from the slide uh, we have a lab one uh, with the code SEMM2921 all right uh, then we have lab lab three with the code SEMM2941 as well as SEMV3941 all right looking at the left guys we have six lab uh, you have six, uh, six lab you have to go to you have solid fluid thermal material machine and electric lab so six lab uh, all together and basically, I think uh, as of today, the number of students who register this uh, lab one, all right, the new student basically is around 309. Then you can see all the sections, uh, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, 27, seven, uh, sorry, eight, 28, 12, uh, 21, and two and 33. You can see uh, just beside the number, you can see the, the, the code, uh, the course code, I think. Um, so students who uh, are uh, SEMM students, you should be registering uh, the section with SEMM uh, notation down there, okay? Which is uh, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, uh, 21, 22 and 23. So you can basically choose any of this section to register as long as uh, it didn't clash, lah, all right? But for SEMI student, you should be registering 7 and 27 for SEMP. And uh, uh, for SEMP, you should be registering uh, 8 and 28. Sorry, there's, there's a typo error down there. And for SEMO student, you should be registering uh, session 12. All right. So this is this is basically how the students are very much grouped according to the, to the section. And for each section, basically, we uh, specify what uh, Kind of students should, 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 should be in that section all right so looking at the right guys we have lab 3 3941 all right uh, as of today i can see the record says uh, 434 registration okay and then we will have three major lab which is the core lab uh, which is uh, you know in that in that core lab we have three experiments which involve uh, control instrumentation and vibration that's the first lab. Second lab is module one and module two. All right. So module lab is some kind of uh, problem based learning lab uh, will be handled by by uh, a specific lecturer. 
mostly involve uh, research and investigation. All right. Um, for the core lab, it will be more or less like lab two. Basically, you have experience lab two. The core lab will be more or less uh, like uh, lab two, but for module one and module two, so it's going to be like a little bit of uh, FYP, something like that, but a very small, very mini FYP. All right. So for this current semester, I have I have seen uh, SEMM, SEMI, SMP, B, V, and T students. All right. So look at the section, guys. Uh, for SEMM student, you should be registering the section with the note SEMM -E beside it. For SEMI student, you should go to 7 and 27. SEMP, you should go to 8, 28. SEMB, you should register 9. SEMV, you should register 10, 30. SEMT, 11, 31. And, and so on, SEMM, guys. Very important for lab 3 student, you have to register the correct section, uh, depending on who you are. If you are an SEMP student, you should be in section 8 and 28. You cannot be somewhere else. All right. It's very important because uh, the module 1 and module 2 is going to be going towards the direction of uh, your course. If you are a material student, module 1 and module 2 will be on material. All right. But if you are like a SEMV automotive student, you cannot be working on material science uh, experiment. So you cannot be doing that. All right. That's why it's very important that for lab three student, you register the section according to who you are. Basically, I have uh, put down here this uh, the notes uh, beside the section okay, so that you know where you should be going to. If you register wrong section today, now you should uh, drop the you, you should you should basically change uh, the, the the things uh, perhaps during the insert delete time. All right, you have to be in the correct section. If you are not in the correct section, then you're going to be in trouble basically. So I have to stress out this thing, guys. Okay. Um, all right. Um, so so basically, this is this is uh, online lab. Um, basically, um, now you are already in the uh, big telegram group where uh, all the students are basically uh, all the students who register lab one will be in uh, lab one telegram group and all the students who register lab three, they are all should be in lab three group. All right. So you basically uh, can can can. Uh, basically see your 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 friends in the group all right if if um you see it correctly and then uh after this guys after tonight okay uh, i will basically need you guys to uh join the telegram group according to the section all right now you are currently in a big telegram group where you guys are just with me all right so this is this is our big uh, telegram group just for uh, communication and coordination between students and just myself which is the the laboratory manager so if you if you have any problem regarding um sections you know regarding labs regarding uh, lecturer regarding the lab staff regarding the experiment you can basically uh, ask me you can basically write something into the big telegram group all right after tonight, all right, in the next coming slide, I will be giving you the links to join the Telegram group according to section. So you know what section you are registering. So after this, uh, in the next coming slide, there are links to, to, to section Telegram group. So please click uh, that, 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 that link and basically uh, join your group. I'll give you guys this this uh, slide, this PowerPoint slide. I'll share this PowerPoint slide in uh, in the Telegram, the big Telegram group. You can download and you can uh, copy or, or click on the link uh, from the slide to join the section Telegram group. And then uh, again, uh, I forgot to mention our lab will be starting next week, not this week. So uh, everything should be uh, very much ready and prepared by this week because next week we are going to start. All right. So number three here says lab staff um, also will be in the group in the section group. Okay. So there are there are two two uh, 
type of, of Telegram group. The first one is you guys with me, lab one and lab two. You guys just with me. The other one is basically section Telegram group where you have to join. This is this this basically uh, this section Telegram group will be the main uh, main medium of communication for the experiment and uh, where you can see the lab staff and the lecturer and the students are going to be there in each uh, section telegram group okay so every uh, week every two week you know depending on the schedule you can see uh, lab staff will be giving you instructions in that section telegram group and the lecturer will be giving you out instruction in that section telegram group okay and then uh, when the time comes, basically, according to the schedule number four here, the lecturer will basically create a WebEx session according to, the, to, the, to your schedule, according to the date, to the day, and to the time of your lab session. Okay, for example, uh, lab one, section uh, one and two, all right? So your, your schedule will be, your lab schedule will be Sunday, uh, eight o'clock, for example. So Sunday, eight o'clock, Okay, the, the, the lecturer will basically create a WebEx session, will share the link uh, to, uh, into the Section 1 Telegram group, and basically you can start joining the live uh, briefing session uh, by clicking uh, on the link uh, that, that, that basically uh, shared by the, by the lecturer. So this is how the, the, the lab is, is going to be working. And uh, during the briefing session, all right, the lab staff will basically share the attendance link. Uh, attendance for the for the briefing is uh, mandatory. If you miss the attendance, some mark will be uh, deducted. All right. And then during the briefing session, number four, number five is basically uh, according to the schedule. This is the the actual lab session actual online lab session number four number five you have you are now joining webex session okay then lab staff will basically share attendance uh, link in the in the in the chat uh, box of the webex session and then lab staff will share the experimental resources like lab sheet video and data in the webex live session and then number six you'll be uh, taking a briefing from the lecturer Okay, and then when the briefing uh, finish done, okay, number seven, you will start preparing the, the what they call that, the report based on whatever you hear from the briefing and the data given to you guys, all right. So the lab is basically online. Uh, your primary reference point is the, uh, what they call that, uh, the instruction uh, from the lab staff and the lecturer in the telegram group section telegram group with the additional resources given to you like lab sheet video and experimental data so in this online lab you you don't have uh, to be in utm you don't have to be in the lab everything will be very much given to you uh, enough for you guys to generate uh, a, a, a lab report all right so number seven uh, you have to prepare the report all right preparing the report you have you you have to ask your lecturer some lecturer prefer student to uh, produce the report uh, in handwritten some student don't mind that you type using computer and all that all right uh, so you have to ask uh, the lecturer i didn't set any 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 standard because uh, different lecturer they, they prefer different thing okay um and number eight um okay, number eight you have to submit the report using the, the google form link okay uh, and then all the submitted report will be given to the lecturer for the marking okay so this is this is the uh, overall process um after this briefing, I will basically uh, taking question. You can you can uh, speak to the microphone or you can put it in the chat box. All right. For now, I think I will just be going uh, on with the briefing. All right. So this is the online uh, Telegram uh, section Telegram group that I have created. So after tonight, you can uh, join this Telegram group section Telegram uh, Telegram group according to the session that you registered. So this is for lab one, 
Okay, if you register lab one as EMM two nine two one, this is where you belong. Uh, look at the section and click uh, on the link to join the the the, the group. All right. I'll be giving out this slide for you guys so you don't have to take photo, you don't have to um, write this thing down. I'll be giving this thing to you uh, after this, all right? Um, so this is uh, lab three, all right, 3941. Also look at the section and those are the links. So you can click on the link to join the group Telegram. Okay, so for uh, lab one, okay, the lab, each lab duration is two weeks. All right, because uh, just now you have seen uh, from the previous slide, of, uh, slide, lab one, you have six lab altogether for the whole semester. Okay, you have six lab and for, for, for each lab, for one lab, you have to do two experiments. Okay, so if you take six lab, one lab, two experiments, so altogether you have to produce uh, 12 reports, 12 experiments, 12 reports. And 11 report uh, should be in a short uh, format, short report, and one report should be in the formal uh, report format. All right. You will get this uh, instruction and, 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 and reminder by the lab staff and the lecturer who give you uh, the briefing during the lab session uh, based on the schedule that, that you have with you. Okay. So for lab one, I repeat, uh, you have, you have, um, six lab for uh, for each lab you have two experiments that run for two weeks okay after you finish uh, for example two weeks for lab uh, solid then you will move to the next lab for example lab fluid for example all right so the lab is two weeks and two weeks so for every lab two weeks you have to produce two report based on two experiments all right for lab three Okay, down there for lab three. For lab three, basically you have you have uh, three lab. Okay, the first one is Mamal Wajib down there. It's a core lab with three experiments, and you have uh, you have a module lab. Um, uh, sorry, you, you you have two module lab. All right, so. Uh, the last line that each student you have to prepare, uh, you have to go through one Ma'mal Wajib, which is the core uh, lab, and two uh, module. Okay, in the core lab you have to produce three experiment, uh, three reports, and for module lab you have to produce uh, one uh, report. Altogether three plus two, so for lab three you have to produce altogether five uh, reports. All right. Uh, Okay, so three experiments for the core lab, okay, and two experiments for two modules. All right, so that's for lab three. Okay, so um, this is basically how, how, how the schedule look like. I will be uh, sharing this thing uh, to you once it is finalized, because I can see, I can, I can uh, 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 see uh, there are still changes in the lecturer's name, so I, I, I couldn't finalize uh, this thing as of tonight. So you will be seeing this uh, schedule, as you can see, the, the um, basically, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm taking out this thing, yeah. All right, so this is basically the section, okay? You will be giving, you you will be receiving this, this PDF file that, that contains the, the shadow. So first is to look at your section, and then uh, basically this is the date of your uh, meeting with the lecturer. For example, in this case, it's 28th of uh, uh, March, and uh, basically 4th of April, for example, okay? So your lab will be on Monday, and the time is 8 to uh, 10. And during this uh, second and third week, basically, uh, you will be having uh, two meetings with this date, 28th of March and 4th of April on Monday from nine, from 8 to 10. So uh, from for this time, you will be working for, in this case, Thermolab. Okay, so after you basically finish working with Thermolab, 
in which you will be going to the next uh, week four and five. Okay, these are the dates for the meeting. Okay, this one and also this one. Uh, your lab schedule is basically fixed on Monday for section one and two. You will be moving to fluid lab. Okay, so as you can see down there uh, for each lab, okay, for each lab, basically you have different lecturer and different lab staff. All right. Okay, so in this case, thermo lab, you have Dr. Zulkarnain. Okay, and then down there, the lab staff who will be basically helping you out. Uh, the name here is Darul Helmi. All right. So these two, these two person will be in the telegram, uh, will be in the section telegram. Okay, when uh, together with you for for the whole uh, semester, I think. Okay, so meaning that uh, after you basically, um, after you are done with uh, thermal lab, okay, uh, and then Doctor Fazila here will be will be. Uh, basically guiding you for the next uh, fluid lab together with Muhammad Sofwan, I think the name of the uh, uh, lab staff, okay? Up here is the uh, the name of the lecturer who will be guiding you. And then down there is a lab staff uh, who will be helping you out with the data and the experiments. All right, so you'll be moving on from, from, from lab to lab until, you know, we have thermal uh, fluid after that, you have solid and then machine and then electric and finally uh, material lab. All right. So you can see the same uh, at, at, at this uh, section as well. This is for section uh, three and four. I think this is how you basically read the, the schedule. This is the meeting date. And you know from your timetable as well, your, your lab will be on, uh, on Tuesday from eight to 10. Okay, so you'll be also moving from uh, lab to lab to the end of the semester, all right? So uh, the red colored dates, uh, you can see that uh, there is a, a date that basically I highlighted in a pink, uh, purple, okay? This is, this is uh, the day where you have to produce the uh, HOMO report, all right? Uh, this is for lab one students. If you remember me uh, saying correctly previously, you have um, six lab. You have uh, two experiment for each lab. Altogether, you have twelve experiments uh, and twelve report which you need to produce. In which eleven report should be in um, in the short report or format, and one report should be in the formal report format. So the formal report format should be happening here in this date. The date that I highlighted, uh, purple or pink, I don't know, uh, as you can see from the schedule. So you know, for example, if you are in section three and four, if you are now reaching the date seven of June, so this day, the experiment that you carry out this day should be produced, uh, should be uh, in the form of uh, the report should be in the form of formal report, all right? Um, what is formal report? What is short report? Uh, you will get the detail uh, through the briefing of the lecturer. Basically, they will, they will basically uh, brief you what is the content of the short report and what, what is the content of the formal report, all right? So on the right here, there, there, there are some guide of how basically you can read the, the, the time, uh, the, the schedule. Okay, so that's for lab one. This is for lab three. For lab three, uh, again, you have uh, altogether four weeks for each lab. This is the first lab. This is the second lab, and this is the third lab. Okay, you are just uh, moving through th uh, three labs. For lab one student, you move through six lab. For lab three student, you only move to uh, through three labs. All right. So the first lab uh, or Mamawajib or core lab. Uh, uh, you will have three experiment control, vibration, and uh, instrumentation. Okay, so you have four weeks in each lab. The first week is the briefing. Okay, these are the dates for your meeting. Okay, um, second week, first experiment, uh, third week, second experiment, fourth week, third experiment. Because you have three experiments, all right. So this is how uh, lab 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 three is 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 very much conducted. 
you have your lecturer name down here and you have your lab technician or lab staff down here these are the group okay this these are basically uh the group you have uh, w1 you have further more group down there you have w2 and w3 that's for makmal wajib and for makmal module uh, for module lab, you have in this case you have thermo module, and the other one is not mentioned here. I'm still waiting for this uh, input from your lecturer. But after you finish this Mamal Wajib for four weeks, this is these are the dates. You will be basically moving to uh, Mamal module for the next uh, following weeks. These are the dates. All right. So the transition and the changing will be uh, very much conducted in the section Telegram group. You just stay in the Telegram group, don't go anywhere, do not leave the group until the end of the, of the semester. The transition will be handled by the by the lecturer and the lab staff, all right? So again, this is your uh, lecturer's name here, and also this is your lecturer name here. Uh, every, all the communication will be uh, happening uh, happening in the, in the uh, Telegram uh, group. So moving uh, a little bit downward, this is your, your group, all right? The reason why you have group here is because you will receive different set of data uh, for different group. For example, group A1 here, you will receive different data set uh, compared to A2. So you cannot be uh, changing the data. You cannot be producing the same uh, report. I think the same goes with lab one. You will also receive a group uh, as well. I just didn't uh, with a snapshot of the group in the slide. <clears throat> you will be looking at the same, uh, basically, uh, element of, of grouping in which uh, once I share with you the, uh, the the schedule and the grouping, you will see your name, okay? You just, just uh, you know, pay attention to the group name because the lecturer and the lab staff will be giving the data according to the group name. So you have to know your group name. All right, so after you finish the second lab, your second module, you, uh, sorry, the first module, you'll be moving on to the next last module, okay, for another four weeks, okay, then you are basically finished. The, the, the report format for the Mawajib or core lab is short report, then the report format for module one and module two is a formal report, all right. Uh, this report uh, format thing will be basically briefed by your lecturer during the briefing uh, according to the dates, all right? So a, li a, li a little guide for, for you guys for uh, uh, lab three module, all right? So you have four weeks uh, uh, all the way, basically. So uh, this is some, 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 some guide. Uh, for you guys, uh, basically this this guide tell you how the lab module is run. You have week one, week two, week two, week three, and week four, and these are the uh, what will happen during the meeting with the lecturer during the lab session according to the schedule, and basically the last column down there is 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 what is expected from 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 you guys. Okay, this is uh, PBL. PBL is problem based learning, so you will be given problem by your lecturer and you have to figure out the way to solve the problem all right so the rest are basically uh, depending on the instructions from your from your lecturer so that's uh let three so um yeah um so uh coming to uh the implementation i guess all right so this is uh the lecturer's role basically uh on the exact date, day, and time of your lab, according to the schedule, uh, again, the lecturer will share with you the, the online uh, online meeting platform, whether through WebEx, through Google Meet, through Zoom. Okay, you have to just pay attention in the section Telegram group. The lecturer will give you the briefing, and um, of course, uh, the lecturer after the briefing you have to, to to prepare the report and once you submitted the report the lecturer will grade your report and send the marks to me all right and 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 for you guys there is student role down here it says that you have to join the online telegram group according to the section 
Okay, you can find the link in the previous slide. Uh, you have to participate. Number two, you have to participate in the experiment briefing, which is mandatory. Uh, and of course, you have to fill up the attendance form uh, given in the uh, Telegram group during the briefing. All right. The attendance uh, will not be given uh, before the briefing and the attendance will not be accepted after the briefing. So you have to fill up the attendance uh, using the link provided in the section Telegram uh, group during the briefing. If you fail to fill up that, the five marks will be deducted. Okay, number three here, it says uh, you have to, uh, you know, because everything will be very much given to you in the Telegram group as well as in the uh, live uh, meeting chat box or whatever, you have to pay attention to those and you have to uh, go and download and review all the rubrics, the lab sheet, the experimental videos, you know, sample data and all that, okay. I will be basically give you the access to the uh, experimental videos and lab sheets uh, and rubrics uh, tonight in which you can use the link and password to access those information but the sample data will only be given to you during the live briefing. Okay, and then number four and five, prepare and submit the, the, the report, all right. So I have here with me on the left uh, just below this big number one here, the contact person of each lab, all right? So you can follow the link, then you know uh, the name and the contact number of, of uh, laboratory staff okay, for, for every lab that you need. Okay, and this is the lab staff role. I will not be uh, talking about this, basically. Um, the lab staff will be will be with uh, with you guys uh, throughout the semester. They will they will help you so that everything goes smoothly. All right. Um, so this is the lab uh, online lab resources in which uh, from from tonight I think you can go to the link down here and uh, basically you can uh, you can help yourself uh, go to this link and. Uh, you can access the lab uh, resources from there, okay? And then uh, this is how uh, you can get access to the lab material. You have to visit this page. You scroll down, you can see this uh, view, this eLab uh, thing, eLab at SKM. Click on this icon. Basically, they will bring you to this page where you have uh, lab 1, lab 2, and lab 3. So if you are registering for lab one uh, course, you have to click uh, lab one. If you are registering for lab three, you have to click lab three. And this is uh, after you click the, the lab, you will be prompt uh, to enter the password. And these are the password for lab one. So okay. this is uh, for lab one SEM, uh, SEMM 2921. The password is that. Okay, and the password for lab three is that. Okay, so basically, uh, once you see this interface um, uh, that asking for password, you have to uh, put on the password according to which lab you are clicking on. All right, and then uh, after that, the page will bring you to this uh, to this view. So you have the short report rubrics and the formal report rubrics. So you can download the the, the report rubrics. The report rubrics are basically the marking. Um, are basically uh, telling you uh, what uh, the, the the elements uh, that should be in your report basically and moving down further you can see this is uh, the me mechanic of material and structure or the solid lab so on the right side is the lab sheet as well as the experimental video from tonight you can go go through and you can download all the information from the link and the password given all right if you are looking at lab uh, one, for example, you, you click at uh, lab one, you enter the password, the page will take you here. You can go to all the labs, you can download all the lab sheet and you can download the, this, uh, you can uh, view the uh, experimental video as well, basically, all right. Um, okay, so after the, after, after the briefing, uh, you fill up the attendance. Basically, you have the data with you given during the live briefing session. Uh, from there, you can basically start putting down your report. Uh, 
I'm looking at the left of the view, the slide. Uh, look at this uh, view, guys. After the briefing session ended, you have uh, basically the due date for the for the submission of the report. For the short report, uh, the due date is the next day before uh, uh, 12 uh, a.m. All right. And for the formal report, it's basically three days after the experiment day, uh, 12 p.m. 12 midnight, I think this one, not 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 noon. If 12 afternoon is 12 p.m., all right, this is 12 a.m., meaning that it's 12 midnight, all right. So meaning that if if uh, you are doing a short report experiment lab today, so your due date is tomorrow night, 12, all right. So the same as a formal report. How to submit the report? Basically, you have uh, for lab three. Uh, this is your link. Okay, for lab one student. Uh, sorry, for lab for lab three student. This is your your link. Okay, do not send your report to the wrong lab because you won't be getting any marks if you send the report to the to the to the uh, wrong lab. All right. So if you the the link is basically uh, active now, but you can click and you can see the view and all that, uh, but please do not perform the submission uh, tonight, all right? The submission is only accepted after the briefing session to the due date uh, time, okay? If you submit earlier or late, the report will not be accepted, all right? You have to hear me clearly. You cannot submit the report before the briefing date or after the due date. If you submit the report outside of the given period, I mean, before uh, the briefing or after the uh, due date, your report will not be accepted, guys. Okay, you have to understand this. Okay, so report submission must be performed after the briefing session until the due date. Okay, so what you need to submit, basically, you have to submit a report for two experiments because for each lab, you have two experiments. So you submit this report to experiment as a separate file. Don't combine these two experiment report and submit together. Don't do that. Okay. Report must be in PDF file. Uh, okay. Use the rubrics as a report cover. This is very important. The rubric, you can basically get it from the website just now. Okay. Download the, the rubric because you need to use the rubric as the report cover. Okay, and of course, uh, how to uh, name your, uh, how to put the, the name for your, for your file name of your report, uh, put the lab, okay, if you are working on fluid lab, put fluid, if you are working on solid lab, put solid, the section, your name, and the experiment title, all right, and yeah, that's very much it for the uh, submission, and then, all right, so this is basically the view for the submission uh, Google link, Google form. All right, so this is, uh, I snapshot the view for lab three. Okay, you can access the, the link from these two, uh, you can access the, 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 the submission form to these two link. If you click at lab three now, you'll be looking at this one. Okay, what, 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 what you will see is basically the first view is we, you have to select the lab. In this case, now it's lab three. So the first page you will be looking at whether you are submitting report for control, instrumentation, vibration, or module one or module two. Uh, when you have chosen your, your basically lab, you have to click next. All right. When you click next, you have to look at the section, your section, and the name of the lecturer. And to do this, you can basically look back at the shadow. You will find, of course, you have to know your section, guys. Uh, in in the previous previous semester, student don't know their section, student don't know their course, student don't know their lecturer. So the report was very much missing because you submit at the wrong place. So this is some of this is how some of you guys basically get very low marks and some of them get zero because the, re the, the report is basically missing. Why? Because the students sent to the wrong place. Why? Because the student do not know uh, what course they register, you know, the course code. The student do not know the section they register and the, the student do not know who is the lecturer. 
So as a result, they send report to just any lab, any lecturer and any section, and it will have gone missing. And for that, you will get zero. All right. So after you choose, okay, your, your section and the lecturer from the from this drop down list, just click next. After you click next, you will go to your name. Okay. So once you register the lab, basically I already uh, I already uh, get your name and I already put in this uh, database. So once you reach to this uh, page, you can you can uh, choose your name. If you couldn't find your name, please go back, go back, go back uh, into this uh, form and see whether you enter you you choose. Uh, the things previously uh, correct or wrong. Okay, maybe if you uh, you go back to the first page, you know you maybe you 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 choose the wrong uh, lab, for example. Okay, maybe you choose the wrong section or wrong lecturer. Maybe all right, but if you get everything correct, you should be looking at your name on the list. You have to choose from the list because this is uh, the name for section one and two. So all your friends' name will be down here. You have to click and choose your name and once you found your name uh, everything is my, very much recorded and this is where you uh, add file to upload your uh, report and click submit so everything will be um, submitted all right again guys uh, you should be able to see your name here if you don't see your name you have you can try to go back and see whether you choose things correctly uh, if you made something if 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 you uh, realize you have some mistake make the correction and try to uh, go to the last page uh, by clicking the next button and you should be seeing your name here if you are doing everything correct and your name is not here please contact me okay maybe you register late or something the database is not being updated all right but you have to go to get every information correct before you do the submission all right so so after you submitted your report how basically you can check whether the, 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 the submission is accepted or not for this current for for the coming semester i have created some simple uh, interface for you guys to to see whether you you are sending the report or the report is very, very much received or not you can you can use this link uh, up here basically you can use the link you will be reaching to this uh, view okay uh, lab skm student pack uh, Put put in your uh, matrix number here. Okay, you put and put in your matrix number and click search, and basically the interface will list down all the uh, reports that you have uh, submitted. Okay, in this case the info the, the interface is not yet uh, being updated. I am I am basically working on 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 uh, finishing the thing. Okay. In the previous previous semester, students after the after each submission, students will be receiving confirmation email. But uh, you know, too much email and all that. I'm not sure whether the student checks or not. Uh, whether you you are concerned or not with the email. But um, for this current semester, I am putting out this interface so that you can uh, check whether your submission is accepted, and see all the all the report that you have submitted. And you have the lab here, okay. And you have the experiment title down here should be, and you are looking at the dates that you have, you have submitted. So, in the previous previous semester, uh, we are looking at many submission which are missing because the students signed it in the wrong place. So, uh, hopefully, this semester you have this thing with you. You can basically see whether you are sending your report to the right lab, okay and whether you have the report listed if it is listed then you should be able to get your marks all right um okay next uh i think you you are you you are aware of this thing i have mentioned this thing about the short report and the and the formal report for lab one and lab three uh so that's nothing much so that's uh very much all basically uh from me for the briefing session uh i will basically now looking at the chat and i will be allowing you guys to um to unmute your um microphone and to ask question 
Okay, guys, I am uh, done with my briefing. I am ready to take a question if you have. All right, just unmute your microphone and um, basically start speaking. Okay. Any, yeah, yeah, okay. I am looking at the chat now. I have uh, one here from Muhammad Hafizu. Then you, you also can see the same thing. Can you ask the lab staff to do the video properly? Ah, okay. Uh, thank you, Muhammad Hafizuddin. Basically, uh, from the survey uh, that I have, I have put out last time, and uh, some of you are responded. Uh, basically, there are comments on the video, uh, and I am basically doing that uh, right after I received the 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 comments from from you guys so some videos uh actually i gather the lab staff to look at all videos and to consider the comments and feedback from from all the students uh and basically they are actually working on improving the video all right thank you mamad uh hafizuddin can i have the slide yes fatin i have mentioned i'll be sharing the slide uh with you guys in the telegram group in the big telegram group uh after this all right can I have more questions, guys? Thank you, Fatin. Thank you, Mama Afizudinia. Thank you, sir. Yes, Yong Junji coming. Sir, I know why we cannot have that, that face to face. Uh, because we basically are still, as, as far as I know, uh, we in the school, we follow the instruction from the university and I believe the university is following the instruction from the ministry as well. Um, so far, uh, I have basically, uh, I asked the school uh, what are the mode of uh, instruction for the lab this semester and the school told me we still have to go to the lab because we still have to go online because not all, not all the students are very much here. Uh, in UTM, so we cannot have a mixed mode kind of lab, you know, it's quite unfair. Some of you get to touch the equipment, some remote and all that. So to be fair, we have to decide this way. But uh, basically, as, as I mentioned earlier uh, in, uh, in the, at, at, at the beginning of this uh, briefing, there are news saying that after the mid sem break, we can enter the lab. So. I'm still waiting. Uh, if we get the news, I'll be informing you guys so that uh, basically you can have a face-to-face -face lab. Okay, guys. Uh, Yong, do you do you get my response, Yong? Yes, yes, I get, doctor. All right, thank you. Uh, having that said, basically, guys, uh, I know the lab is uh, online, fully online uh, until now, uh, as 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 for now. But if you are in UTM. Basically, you can go to the lab anytime that you want, okay? Even though, you know, all the medium of instruction, the lab is conducted online through the WebEx, through the Telegram and all that. After the briefing session, you can take your, your, your friend or you can go alone if you want. Go to the lab, talk to the lab staff. I want to see the equipment. I want to see how the... Uh, experiment is conducted the lab staff will be taking you guys for that for that uh, thing that you need all right again i repeat even though the lab is online okay the medium of instruction is through webex through uh, live briefing through telegram you still can go to the lab if you are in the campus okay because i know i don't know some of the uh, application to enter campus some are very much rejected but as long as you are in the campus, even though the lab is online, you can still go to the lab physically, okay, see the lab staff and ask the lab staff that you want to see the experiment, I want to make the experiment, okay. But for this COVID-19 SOP and all that, uh, the lab staff will be uh, you know, putting up schedules so that you, then, you, you don't have too much people uh, crowded in the lab, all right. You can go, uh, you can go to the lab, guys meet the lab staff uh what booking if if necessary because if there are so many students the lab staff are can work schedule so you can you can go to the lab and see the things all right don't worry i'm going back to the chat uh the next day from Eng sun Suan, i think uh the next day 12 a.m means submit the report on the same day straight after briefing day 
Uh, no, basically, uh, Sun Sun Juan. Uh, next day means tomorrow. If your lab is today, let's say in the morning, 8 o'clock today, so your due date is tomorrow night, 12 o'clock. Uh, I hope you get it. Okay, and then the next from One Nur Arena for the lab tree, is it the whole three hours? Um, the whole three hours, I would say no, because uh, the, only, the only time which you need to be there uh, is during the briefing time. Okay, briefing time won't be three hours. Briefing time is just uh, some lecturers, 10 minutes, some lecturers, 20 minutes, some lecturers, um, 30 minutes, some lecturer, one hour. But most of the lecturers uh, doing like 15 to 20 minutes briefing. That's the only time where you need to commit and you need to be there. All right, it's not, it's not normally three hours. All right. Only that briefing time is basically your commitment to the lab. The rest are all uh, this one. Okay, you don't have to be there. That's for, for one Nur Arena. Next, I'm saying that uh, Muhammad Nakiuddin. Does lab one also specific experiment for certain course like uh, lab three? No, for lab one, we uh, already decided uh, the experiment. Uh, again, I mentioned for what for each lab you have to experiment. The experiment is is fixed. You can see the name of the experiment in the website, in the in the link and the password just now. Okay, you can see the title of the experiment, you can see the lab sheet, you can see the video, video and that's the only thing that you're going to do for the whole uh, semester, Muhammad Nakiyuddin. But for like three, you have Ma'amal um, Wajib, three experiment fixed, and two module, the two module is not fixed. It is, uh, will, it will be decided by the lecturer. That's, so that's for lab, lab three. Uh, so going back to your question, does lab one also have specific experiment? Yeah, you have specific experiment as well. Okay, and moving further, Mat Tasnim, other faculty of UTM already declared their lab will be go to face to face. Um, of course, um, this this thing maybe other other school, maybe other faculty, maybe their lab is is, is different. The amount of students is different. Maybe they decided differently, but uh, as far as I am concerned, as far as uh, the instruction that I have received, the lab will still be uh, online for this for this uh, current semester for SKM. Okay, regardless of what other faculty uh, actually decided lah. Okay, um, yeah, basically SKM so far decided to do the lab uh, online. But again, as I mentioned. If you are in UTM, please go to the lab. Okay, meet the lab staff, put up the schedule, and 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 you can have your session, face-to-face uh, -face session, basically. Okay. Uh, Eng Yisheng, all right. Uh, is that Sulaiman? Okay, lab three report individually and module report. For lab three, short report in the Makma Wajib. The report is individual. Okay. For the module lab, uh, the lecturer will give you instruction whether you have to report in group or you have to report as individual. All right. So that's for Izzat Sulaiman, uh, Cheng Weibo. It didn't show section 1131 and when I registered this course. Um, it's hard to say because uh, this section is open and closed at any time, depending on whether it is full or whether it is uh, whether there is no student registering or if the section are full, they will open a new section or something. Okay, but as of today, this is what I I I, I have for you guys. Uh, look at this thing again and change the 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 the, the section if you are in the wrong uh, location now. All right. Uh, Cheng, okay. Uh, the section for lab one, section one and two show link expired. Uh, Ziu Tong, can you uh, put down this thing in the Telegram group? Okay, I will be taking action uh, from the from 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 your message in the Telegram uh, group. All right, I will I will look at this thing again. Okay, uh, Afik Haikal, what if I can't attend the experiment briefing? Do I need to inform the lecturer before that? If you have, thank you very much, Haikal. Uh, 
if you have any problem, uh, they call that uh, attending the briefing, you have to inform the, the lab staff or the lecturer in the telegram group, in the section telegram group, because your lecturer and, uh, and your lab staff is, is basically there. You just mention to them, oh, I cannot attend this briefing at, 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 uh, uh, at the day and the date and, and the time because I have some other emergencies and all that. Make sure they take note. Okay. If you are uh, absent uh, without any notice, they will take note and they will deduct the mark. All right. From Hashirol, I am from SEMB, currently enrolled in SEMM lab. Did I need to change the SMB? Yes, you need to change uh, the SMB because the especially for lab 3, the experiment is different. It is made different for different students. So if you are, for example, if you are not a production student, uh, then you don't have the basic or the things required for the production lab 3. All right, so you need the basics. So the same goes to SEMB. If you don't have the basic in SEMB, you don't go to SEMB lab because you won't be uh, having adequate uh, knowledge to do that. Okay. Uh, the link for SEMO lab one also unavailable to join. Wow. How do you guys join? Basically, I haven't yet give you the thing. You take a snapshot or what? Okay, guys, if you have problem joining joining the, the Telegram group, I think you can put on the message in the Telegram, uh, in the big Telegram group, and I will attend your, your request from there. All right, there are issues here and there, but uh, that's all right. Okay, from Afik Haikal, again, if the current section is clashed with other subject, do I need to proceed with the current session or I can enroll to another section? Afik Haikal lab berapa? Lab 1 ke lab 3? Afik Haikal uh, lab 1. Okay, okay guys. Uh, I forgot to mention for lab 1. Okay, I know that I have specified the section for a specific uh, course. But for lab 1, you can be in any section. But not for lab 3. Lab 3, you have to be in the right section. Lab 1. You can be in any section, no problem, because everybody will go through the same experiment. Okay, I repeat again for lab one, you can be in any section, no problem. Even though I have mentioned the section number and the and the and the course down there. Okay, you can follow that basically, but if you have problem like clash and all that, you can register other section for lab one. Uh, if you are not in the right section, no problem. You can be in any section for lab one, okay. But for lab three, you have to be in the right section, okay. Sorry, I forgot to mention this to you guys before. Uh, yes. Okay, guys. Any other question, guys? Okay, I will be giving you more instructions in the big telegram group. Just pay attention to that. Um, okay, thank you, Fatin. I, 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 I'm not sure because we have 423 students all together. Uh, so, okay, guys, if you have more questions, you can put out the question in the big telegram group. I will be uh, responding to you guys in the telegram group. And as of tonight, I think um, just join the section telegram group and stay there uh, until the end of the semester. If you happen to change the uh, section, please leave that telegram group and join the new telegram group. Okay, because um, uh, the lecturer will have the, the name, will have your names. All right. And the lecturer will basically uh compare uh the participant in that telegram group if it is uh match or it doesn't match okay so you have to be uh, in the right uh, group okay all right guys if you have any other yes neo i will share the slide in the telegram group uh lab one and lab two you can you can get the information from there so if you have any other uh, any other what they call that question or problem, you can put it down in the WhatsApp in, in the in the Telegram uh, group. I will be responding uh, to you uh, from there. Okay, guys, I think that's very much all for tonight. Thank you very much for your time. 
guys please help me if your friend is not uh, joining this session this briefing session if your friend is not joining the telegram group please ask them to join because if they miss this uh, briefing if they miss the information that we we discuss in the telegram group i afraid there will be a lot of things they don't, they don't know and they don't they don't uh, uh, understand and i i i I basically I don't want any any trouble at the end of the whole uh, semester because uh, I've seen a lot of trouble previously because students don't don't understand don't don't attend the briefing and they don't know what's going on basically okay okay please help me okay guys more or less uh, thank you so much for your time thank you so much for the question thank you so much for the attention I'll see you guys around um, I'll see you guys in the Telegram group again if you are in utm please go to the lab you can you can go to the lab no problem just that officially the medium of instruction for the lab is online but you can always go to the lab okay guys thank you so much i'll see you around bye bye assalamu alaikum and have a very good uh, evening good doctor thank you so much have a nice day thank you sir good doctor thank you doctor